What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get into this whole situation. Let's talk about Juan Dixon. Let's talk about Robin Dixon. There's a whole lot going on. The rumors out here in these streets that Bravo is going to let, you know, Robin Dixon go. They're going to fire her. They're going to say goodbye, sayonara. Don't want to see you again no more with your lies. OMG, this is going down. And also, it seems like like there's a whole lot going on in the Dixon residence, baby. Because now it has been reported that when it comes to Juan Dixon, he has lost his job. The university, Coppin State University, decided to part ways with Juan as head coach. They decided to let him go. And that was a good job. That was a good paying job. That was a prestigious job as well. And it always kept him in the loop and always will keep him in the loop when it comes to his sons and things of that nature. And so it seems like the reports are out here that they decided to part ways because basically they feel like Juan Dixon is probably most likely a liability and maybe there were some faults on Juan's behalf or basically the university is trying to save their self and they're going to use Juan as basically as a bargaining chip to basically says that this person was properly improperly guiding you know this basketball team and act recklessly and also did not follow the rules and regulations when it comes down to dealing with delicate sensitive and you know touchy feely you know kids getting catfish and everything and basically what's more important is the safety of that young child that young man that basically entrusted his career his you know his wisdom and also to learn and to be violated and treated like that child it is an ugly situation Juan didn't actually touch the kid but basically saying that he didn't act properly if you read the paperwork and basically, you know, you wouldn't want anybody to handle the situation the way the university handled the situation. So Juan is most likely a scapegoat as well, and he has some faults in the situation. But then on top of that situation, you have Robin Dixon. She's on the Bravo Network, and she's on the Real Housewives of Atomic, and she basically says that, you know, she will want anybody to to handle the situation the way Juan Dixon handled the situation with the allegations and the scandal and the mistreatment and the abuse of a young college player you know a young man first time away from home first time on flights and taking being flown out and things of that nature she said basically she would want Juan to act in that way she really didn't think Juan did anything wrong she would want Juan someone to act in Juan's behavior the way he treated that young man she would be okay if someone treated her children her sons that way and then she also said that the story only caught legs because Juan Dixon was attached to the story and that may be true but for her to say that on national tv and now everybody's doing investigation and listening and watching and it almost seems like when it comes to Robin she's siding with her husband when there was some fault or or he was going to be at fault and now they're going to connect you to being at fault too as well because you got on national TV and you and you said these statements and any event she could have most likely said that you know the truth would come out I have faith in my husband everything would be resolved and my heart goes out to the victim because it should have never happened and then just moved on from that whole situation but Robin said what she felt because she's a rider when it comes to Juan Dixon she ride for him all day every day and then on top of that, Juan Dixon being caught in a cheating scandal and everything with a young lady. And at the hotel, she lost her wallet. She lost her pocketbook. She called Juan over. He came through in the middle of the night like he was red riding Robin hood okay and got up in that hotel he was a, he, his name is on the receipt because he paid for it with his credit card so basically he didn't even go to the bank and withdraw the money out first you know what i mean and plus the woman couldn't get the room because she had no id so Juan put his life on the line he put everything on the line he already got this allegation this scams are going on then he's out here cheating then he's been out here cheating with that woman for 
almost a whole pandemic. Then Robin gonna get on TV and lie to us and say that Robin, that Juan said nothing happened. Okay, you know she was dating one of his friends and he just went there to help her and there was nothing involved. The woman said, "Oh no, yes there was," and the woman states that. When it comes to Juan, he likes to share with his homeboys. And the woman spoken to Robin. And she basically said the count that Robin gave the public was a lie. So it was a whole lot going on. So you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation. It seems like Giselle's going to have to try to find her a new road dog. She's going to have to try to find her a new friend. Because if Robin is gets demoted or she's removed from the show. Because people might feel a certain type of way. Especially once, you know, they if they go to trial. When it comes to, you know, the Coppin State University situation. And then how Robin responded, you know, on the reunion. And, you know, it might be coming back to bite her. Okay. Let's get down to this whole situation. Let's talk about Young M.A. Like, OMG, Young M.A. was over there at the barber shop basically to get, you know, her lineup, get her locks twisted, whatever the case is. And the person is saying, look at this transformation. What transformation? You know what I mean? They only showed this little clip. And it seems like Young M.A. was feeling a certain type of way. Like, she was feeling, like, salty. You know, she, you know, basically, she was feeling tight that the barber put her on camera because she's shaking her head and rolling her eyes and she put her head down. And normally, the M.A. that we know, when she feel like she's being violated when she feels like somebody's recording her and they're in her vicinity and they're right next to her like that she gonna challenge them she gonna test them she gonna do what she do you know she gonna get up and she gonna check them and regulate the whole situation but it seems like she wasn't able to do any of that okay like people were saying that we need to lift her up in prayer and pray for her because something don't look right she don't look like the old you know ma they're basically saying like she got jaundice of the eyes it look like her skin is peeling her, her skin is melting and basically she's having some internal fight some internal organs something is happening we know that she was in the hospital maybe two months ago she had ivs and things of that nature there was some oxygen so i don't know what's happening she doesn't look like she got that fight in her didn't look like she can get up and check to do you know for basically violating her space and disrespecting her like that which was wrong straight up Okay, so now this is the transformation. I didn't know there was really a transformation, but I did find another clip, and it does look okay. These locks look all right. All right, the lineup is okay. The lineup looks nice. You know what I mean? But it still looks like something's going on. Like, you know, I like you know she lost a lot of weight. People are saying that maybe it could be some type of liver or something failing in her body. I hope that's not the case. So let's just lift her up and pray that she's all right. Because, baby, she's still trying to smile, even though she's being recorded. I don't think she wanted to be recorded with the whole first thing because the first one was like woo ha but her face her head the shape is just so it's like shrunken in like you know what i mean she does look like a boy though and congratulations to Spice. Congratulations to her. She is with child. Okay, she's in blue, so I don't know if she's having a baby boy. So, you know, she was having some complications not too long ago when she was out of the country. People say she was doing surgery, but maybe she was pregnant and surgery was going on or maybe she was doing some type of fertility. I don't know. But in any event, the girl is pregnant and she lives in the U.S. And so her baby going to be raised with her and she don't have to worry about separating her children anymore because she had to go grind. She grind. She got that money. But to keep them loving hip hop checks, baby, you're gonna need to have to get married. You're gonna have to boyfriend. We all know the script. But congratulations to her. I don't know who is the baby daddy. I don't know if it's the guy that work over there at VH1 that he was a cameraman or something like that, or did she have somebody else spicing it up, baby? Or did she go to a clinic? I don't know if she got a donor, but she got her baby, and it is what it is. And also, let's not forget Lindsay Lohan. She announced today that she is pregnant as well. And her baby is coming soon. So congratulations to her. She's 35 years old. I was like, okay, Lindsay Lohan. But you know, Miss Lohan used to be out here in these streets. And she used to be wild and crazy, baby. And her family crazy too as well. So if she can have a baby, Chris Sean can have a baby. Right now, there's a whole lot going on with Chris Sean. She don't know whether she want to keep it. Whether she don't want to keep it. There's a whole lot happening. Her and blue face are going back and forth back and forth back and forth so we shall see what's going to happen with this situation they broken up again and blue face is basically shaming her and dogging her out verbally and she usually dog him out physically so in any event it is what it is there this kid's being born every day and um situations that 
we shake our head too so y'all tell me what y'all think so let's get into this whole situation let's talk about Wyclef so basically it's out here in these streets that Wyclef was in the hospital and he basically had to stay overnight and there was some concerns about his health so he's trying to take better care of himself and try to do some self-care because he's basically saying he's been running ragged whatever he's doing or whatever how he's doing or whatever the case may be he has some stress he has some exhaustion and he was admitted to the hospital he said that's the first time that's ever happened to him in his whole life but he's talking about anxiety he's talking about stress and blasting the third child there's a whole lot going on let's all stay prayed up and but here to child 